Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. How a hundred tons of gold hidden under the mattresses could save Turkey's economy. Let's explore. That's right. The Daily Sabah, which is a an article that was sent to me by Cyber Curtain Twitcher and others, has a story about sort of piggybacking on another story that I had talked about with regards to Turkey and gold. You know, there's nations in the Middle East and, of course, Eastern nations that really do understand the true value of money, money in terms of gold. There's a cultural aspect to it, especially in places like Turkey and India. And this particular article here shows gold bracelets displayed at a gold shop in Istanbul's Grand Bazaar. But it's not just in the terms of jewelry and the like, although that is a part of it too. But also this coin here, you may remember a video where I talked about that the Turkish state mint is actually produced as more gold coins in the United States Mint, surprisingly enough. It's the world's largest producer, I think, of gold coins. Is that's what they use to spend. And so these coins here are uh, quite popular. Um, and that's kind of the backdrop for this story. Turkish banks and gold refineries helped 100 uh, tons of gold hidden in homes to be put back into the financial system although some 3,000 to 5,000 tons remain stashed under people's mattresses, the head of a leading gold refinery said. Aisa Eason, CEO of Istanbul's gold refinery, IAR, you may remember seeing some of those bars too, said that they had launched a project with, a 12, with 12 major commercial banks 10 years ago to change people's gold-saving habits preventing them from hoarding, hoarding the precious metal at home. We are aware of the fact that there's around 3,000 to 5,000 tons of gold saved under mattresses, which amounts to an informal economy with a size of 200 to 300 billion, which is kind of odd because it says 100 tons of gold hidden under mattresses, and here they're talking about three to 5,000 tons. Putting this amount of gold back into circulation could bring solutions to many of the country's financial problems, she added. Essa noted that IAR will start working on new projects with banks and the government to push private individuals to hold their gold savings in banks after the economy emerges from the coronavirus outbreak. So look at that. Think about that. This is not, this is a, uh, the IIR, the gold refinery, will work on new projects with banks and the government to push private individuals to hold gold, hold their savings in banks. You know, that says, sounds like a mandate to me. It sounds like a government intrusion. I don't know how the Turkish people will react to that. Many people in Turkey, which has one of the lowest private savings rates among major economies, Keep gold as security for a rainy day rather than products offered by banks. And boy, I tell you what, there's a lot of lessons that Westerners could learn, especially Americans, from uh, the Turkish people. You know what? You and I watching this video, but there may be some new people who don't, who aren't stackers, may consider this as something as that rainy day fund. According to estimates, Turks hold some 3,500 tons of gold. Banks have sought to capitalize on the tradition of, by offering accounts denominated in gold, allowing sales by check, bank transfer, or mobile phone. You know, as technology grows, I'm sure you're going to see more and more young Turks, yeah, pun intended there, uh, start to utilize technology. And that's why you have blockchain-based banking or accounts uh, backed by gold. We're seeing more and more of those types of, of scenarios rise up, ICOs and the like, but you got to be very, very careful with some of those, um, especially some that are just getting off their feet. It's like a risky adventure. But you have other places like places like the Perth Mint, Royal Canadian Mint, and others that have sort of these gold-backed currencies, essentially, 
And then even bullion dealers have ways that you can utilize and fund your accounts with as small increments as a tenth of a, of a, of a gram of gold at a time or a dollar or two you want to put in towards your, your gold and then you can cash it out or store it or what have you. Uh, but it is an interesting thing. It'll be see how it goes. But as of right now, there's a lot of gold lying underneath the mattresses of the homes of many Turks out there. And uh, and so it's fascinating to see uh, where this is going. But the the uh, the title is a bit misleading or either that or this is misleading. Three to five thousand, three thousand to five thousand tons of gold saved. I'm going to go with that as a title. Three to three to five thousand tons. Um, I'll say four thousand. Um, up to five thousand tons remain stashed under people's mattresses. They said it uh, several times. Um, but anyways, but the uh, I guess they've already helped to uh, get a hundred tons of gold hidden to be put back in the financial system, and there's that much left over that they have. So 100 is a very small amount to start, but at least there's a lot of potential there. Now, what form does it take? You know, as I said at the very beginning of the video, is it in jewelry? How do people store their gold? If it's like it is in um, India, it's going to be mostly jewelry. But my guess is, considering the prior video that I talked about before, my guess is there's a lot of coins underneath those mattresses as well as jewelry and other, th other things. A rainy day fun for sure very fascinating it is a interesting and be neat to have one of these coins you don't hear about this among the circles of our stacking uh, brethren and cistern out there uh, that accumulate gold we typically don't think of gold bullion in the form of turkish gold but it is mostly because it's in country people are saving it they're hoarding it they see it as money and indeed it is more evidence to the case Thank you again to CyberCurrent Twitcher and everyone else who uh, shared this article with me. Post your thoughts below about this particular situation. This should encourage us as stackers, uh, both gold and silver stackers, and what we hold here in these metals is, is really is. Uh, there's something to be said for saving in real money, and that is gold and silver. We'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and remind you that I post videos on a daily basis and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.